blade and quill. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Last week I showed you how to organize your brushes by assigning them to specific tags and how to create, rename and remove tags. Today I am going to talk about the stabilizer. To get to the stabilizer, you need first to click on the freehand brush icon. In the tool options docker, you will see a drop down menu called brush smoothing. Smoothing here is done when the program corrects your paint strokes. In other words, the software stabilizes your shaking hand. When I was in high school a long time ago, I had this wonderful art teacher who taught me how to draw better long straight lines. He taught me that instead of drawing with my fingers, I should use my elbow or shoulder to compensate my shaky hand. This is what the stabilizer option is doing here, if you think about it. It corrects your paint strokes and stabilizes your hand for you, acting like your shoulder or elbow. Then your lines are smooth and uh, beautiful. In the drop-down menu, we are giving a selection of tools that will allow us to create and draw smoother lines. However, today we are focusing on the last one, the stabilizer. So let's click on it. As usual, when you click on a tool in Krita, we are given buttons to tweak to our needs. But first thing first, I would like you to notice that your cursor looks different. In Krita's manual, they say that the stabilizer will draw a circle around our cursor and that the line will be a bit behind while painting. Distance is the strength of the smoothing. You can increase or decrease the values of your distance by using the slider the arrows on the side or you can type a number directly in the box and click enter. In order to find uh, what value will work uh, best for you, you will need to do some uh, testing. I always start by testing the minimum value against the maximum value, uh, so let's do that. If I decrease the distance to its minimum, it will take me to a value of 3, not 0. I am going to draw some long straight line and see what happens. Alright, well nothing much is really happening, but uh, I think it was to be expected uh, as I am uh, working with a minimum value. Alright, now let me slide the value to its maximum and I think it's 1000. And uh, let's see what will happen when I draw long straight lines. As you can see, or maybe you cannot really see it, you will have to experience it by yourself, but there is a little delay. It's like the software is a little behind. I would advise you to keep playing with different values until you reach a number that feels uh, comfortable. Now please understand that these numbers will change uh, depending on your projects. Uh, for instance, uh, I set my distance at 50 for most of my projects, but for more detailed uh, work, I set it to 100. The delay option controls uh, the speed of your painting. Think of it as uh, brakes of a car. The more you push on the brakes, the more the car slows down, right? Same here. A low value means that the stabilizer slows you down less, when higher values cause your strokes to slow down more. Before we test the delays value, you will notice that we have the option to turn this action on or off. Now if you set the value to its minimum, which is zero, it's basically the same as if you had uh, turned off the tool. So don't expect uh, anything to happen at this value. 
What I am mostly interested to show you here is when the tool is uh, set to its maximum value of 500. Uh, so let's do that. See how the circle is huge around the center point? Now look as I move uh, my pen. I hope you can see my cursor dancing right here. I am painting right now, pressing on my tablet, but uh, as you can see, uh, no ink is showing yet uh, on the canvas. Now this is where you have to pay attention. As soon as I reach uh, the edge of the circle, the ink is finally showing up. Krita's manual says that this large circle is a dead zone around the cursor. The larger the delay's value, the larger the dead zone. So here again, play with the values until you find the one that works best for you. I set my delay to 10. It works for me, so feel free to try it. When you turn off the delay option, you will notice that the finish line option becomes available. It is not available when the delay is on. In Krita's manual, they explain that if you check the box, the software will make sure that when you lift off at the end of the line, the line reached the exact point where you lifted off the pen from the tablet. I tested it and I didn't really see a difference, so I would just leave this option on if I were you, it really won't hurt you. Now I will admit my ignorance regarding this setting. The only thing I could think of is that it is for people who uh, own those uh, expensive uh, tablets uh, that come with uh, fancy pressure, speed or tilt sensors. And because it's not my case, I am using an old Wacom tablet, uh, it really doesn't matter for me if it's on or off. So here again, just keep this box checked, uh, it won't hurt you. Before to leave and end this tutorial, I would like to give you a final tip. Don't overuse this tool. Sometimes your work needs to have imperfections. Your work is you, it represents you. So leaving uh, jittery or bumpy lines uh, will make your work feel more human and uh, organic, <laughs> if that makes any sense. So use the tool as you think it's really needed. Don't turn it on when painting uh, uh, textures, for example, or if you are trying to create some fabrics or hair or fur. As you are getting more comfortable with Krita, you will see when to use and when to not use the tool. Alright, I hope this uh, little tutorial was helpful. Uh, next week we'll talk about the pen pressure button. Have a wonderful week. I'll see you next Monday. Big hugs to all of you and uh, have fun painting. <laughs> Bye.